Okay, you decide to wake me up in the middle of the night, alright? What the fuck is wrong with you? I have horrible arthritis, and I can't sleep for a while, right? So, you waking me up for having to fall asleep for hours? I want you to die, okay? I want you to die. Crumble up into a little piece of ball, throw yourself into Hitler's gas chambers, and actually kill yourself. Whoa there, okay, calm down. Jesus Christ, you old fuck. Don't you tell me to calm down, you little piece of sh- Okay, Chief, this is actually important. Someone actually broke into the NASA headquarters and stole a rocket. Wait, what? How is that even possible? No one- That place is heavily defended! Oh, trust me, they did. Killed everyone, now they're going to Iran to get the bombs and nuke Earth, okay? What is happening? Chief, we need your help. Chief, please, please! Yeah, what's up, bitch? I'm in the- I'm in the moon now, bro. Seriously, though, I don't want to be in Earth anymore. And I'm kind of close to bombing it, but hey, you know what? I'll give, you know, I'll give, I'll give Earth another chance. You see, there's just, there's a, there's a thing. <sighs> so, that's a horrible thing called <sniffs> Life Stories Animated. <laughs> Wait. Sky you, guys, diamond. you guys hear that? I would like. Oh no. <gasps> hey guys, um, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. I, you know, hope you guys have been having a good day, and, you know, just thank you for coming back to the channel. Um, this is, like, you know, sort of new content, but not really, but I'm, you know, picking up back on it. So, just let me know if you want more, because this is obviously, you know, this is new to me again, for some reason. Uh, but anyways, though. <gasps> life stories! We've all heard them once or, life, once or twice before, and, you know, we could say safely, most of them are bullshit. <laughs> okay, okay, not all of them, but, like, you know. Some of them, like, okay, some of them, there's half of them good, half of them bad. Fortnite bad, Minecraft good, that, that, that yeah. Um, but, uh, you see, there's a, you know, there's a specific channel I would like to call out. Well, I mean, it's, it, it's like, a, it's like a, ch it's like these channels dedicated to these specifics. It does have to do with animation, but not really. But, like, my life stories animated. Uh, so, like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, like, Jaden in animations or Sir Pelo or Odd Ones or anything like those, or Dominic's or anything, but, like, like, there's a certain type of channel you can look up, and, uh, crazy scenarios that you can use. I, what the hell? Seriously. Like, I've been around it, only, only ever been around it just to been hours on it, just because it was in my recommended. I only clicked on it accidentally trying to watch something else. Ooh, I've been wanting to make a video on this, and I wanted to, and this is it. This is the video. Ah, let's sh sh shit on some people. Before we can, though, um, just, you know, take the time to appreciate me coming this far. <laughs> you, you guys. But anyways, um, nonetheless, uh, get your popcorn, grab your notes, and let's play the video. That's a leafy quote. God, I love myself. Anyways, um... Sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, grab your notes, and let's play the video. Play that shit. Hi, I'm Cicely, and I'm allergic to breathing. Wow, what a great start to the video. <laughs> How are you alive? That's my first thing. Okay, no person on Earth is going to survive for, <laughs> from not being able to breathe. Seriously? What? You know, there's no way you could be able to, like, survive without breathing unless you're, like, quarantined. Actually, you couldn't even be, you couldn't survive when you, even if you're quarantined in a specific place. You can't survive! Maybe, like, if you go, like, really extreme lengths where, like, but you, then, you, again, you can't breathe at all! What is this? Where you not, what, what, you, you, I swear to God, I'm gonna punch the lady. I, I swear, I'm gonna fucking get this. You know these? Yeah, we're already. This is how bad I am. We're already just up, like, not even a, not even a minute in, but the few seconds in, I'm already pissed off. Let's, let's go. You might be wondering how on earth I'm still alive and telling you about my condition. It's not been an easy situation. <laughs> A week before my life was turned on its head, I fell off a swing at school. I got a really bad bruise and a massive headache, but nothing else happened. I didn't even bleed. My parents were called and they took me to the doctor just in case, but he told them it had just been a bump. So we didn't think much about it and moved on with our day. 
The headache continued for a few days, but that seemed to be a normal effect of the minor accident. Then one day, everything changed. It all happened in a single instant. One moment I was playing in my house's backyard, and the next I was gasping for air and falling flat on the floor. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay, alright, so you fell, you fell on the fucking floor, you, you fell on the fucking, you fell from a swing, and then a bump, it all caused because of a bump, are you kidding? <laughs> okay, I can get to the part. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. From that image right there, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it wasn't that far. And I'm pretty sure even from drawing from that perspective, it wasn't even that far of a jump at all. Have you seen like swings? They're not that high up. <laughs> Anyways, I've been up that high if I've got any condition whatsoever. And I've never stopped breathing. And even then, <laughs> you should have died. Because <laughs> there's this... Holy, I gotta stop laughing. <clears throat> it's a very serious situ situation. It's a very serious situation. <clears throat> and seriously, you would like, there's, a, the, you know, there's a time limit amount of it in which you need the air because the carbon dioxide is not healthy for your body and then theref therefore it needs to be traded out with oxygen. But the thing is, if you can't breathe, then you can't survive. And the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, is just like, con you know, spreading in your entire body and shit and like. Uh, I, mean, I mean, just impressed and calling me impressed and you know, what happens next. They thought I might be having some kind of anaphylactic shock, and they weren't entirely wrong. It would take far longer to actually discover what was wrong with me. When I got to the hospital, the doctors removed the mask that helped me breathe, and I began again gasping for air, just like I had in the garden. Just like before, the situation only got worse, but luckily I was already surrounded by medical professionals. They connected me again to the assisted breathing machine and they sedated me to calm me down since I was having a massive panic attack. When I woke up, my mom and dad were sitting by my side. They looked terribly worried and told me that the doctors were running all sorts of tests to discover what had happened to me. One of the medics entered my hospital room a while later and he began asking me a few questions to better understand what had happened the previous day. I told him that I didn't seem to be able to breathe on my own. Of course, everyone was so confused. How could a healthy young girl be unable to breathe all of a sudden? They ran so many tests, but nothing seemed to explain my condition. That was until my mom remembered the incident in the swings. Could it be that it had been far more than just a harmless bump on the head? They decided to take a look at my brain. I had an MRI scan, and that was when everything suddenly became clear. They were shocked by the results and repeated them two more times. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before. The part of my brain which controls the breathing had stopped working. There was almost no activity in that area, and they believed that it would only get worse. It seemed that hitting my head against the floor had produced inner bleeding in my brain, and no one had noticed. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos in the channel. Okay, so after watching that, um, hmm, okay, I would, okay, I wouldn't give too much criticism about that story, because, you know, that is a legitimate thing that could actually happen to you. It, except the part where it doesn't exist, yeah, because, you know, from, uh, this is so bullshit, like, I'm seriously tired of this entire fucking channel, because the entirety of this channel is just to get views. Wow, look at this, I got 3 million views on, you know, an accident. Why would I tell this? Oh, for no apparent reason, only for money and whatnot, and they're monetized all the time, so, you know, and they're like, they, it's not like, oh, it's just, it's just a one-time thing, you know, they've, they, they've never, like, posted, you know, like, every single story upload every single day, daily. You know, because that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> it, it does exist. Just, just, uh, let you know. Yeah. Crazy, right? But seriously, it, it, okay, it really is just hard to believe almost everything like that because now, just like, they're just uploading constantly about every, about everyday things are like horrible. It's like, look at this episode. I'm having an affair with my mom. And, 
you know, like I'm pregnant by my dad or something, and you know, just all the lines like that. And it's not just it's not the idea of the video, but it's just the constant like uploads with it. Just every day is daily. It's like I've. It's just annoying, and obviously you can tell that from these videos are like most of these are like bullshit, and just hopefully you could understand that just just using like you know horrible accidents that could happen to actual people, and just using them for views. Even then, like just like they're just like literally lying about like horrible things that happened to actual people and just like making that views out of that like the entire story like there was no way she could survive after that because you need the ability to breathe like ever, for every single day this just it does not work it doesn't work like that you can't just you can't just like geez like, like at the end of that episode like she literally just had starts to accept that she has a breathing machine around she basically takes it off otherwise she you know she start panicking and start you know like have trouble breathing because without breathing you you really can't do anything you're like stuck in like a in a paralyzation phase or you're just stuck oh like you're basically just like stuck and you can't move because like o you need oxygen to like move around and you know without that you're not going to be able to move <laughs> at all and just oh my god just like there's layers of lies in this in this video and there's more in this channel this is just one of these examples i wanted to bring up and uh i'll do another one if you guys want <sighs> i i don't even know at this point because uh, the thing is though because with this channel and these videos again i'm bringing this up one more time the lying it's got to stop because no one ever lies on the internet spoiler alert, they do jesus christ wow guys i think i'm a good channel you know Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Alright, in conclusion today, bros, um, yeah, that's that. Oh my god. Okay, seriously though, in conclusion, this, this channel, nope, is bad. Fortnite, bad. Minecraft, good. That, that's it. That's, a, that's it. That's all you gotta know. <sighs> YouTube's great. Wait, am I lot Oh. Get this shit off me! Ah! Get this beta shit off me!